So I'm doing a video laying down because I'm so exhausted. <laughs> um, what I've been noticing is that I still have altars that I, well, I just want to say about DID, you can't control the altars or when they come out. And I had a friend say that they wanted to talk to specifically one altar. And I lost that friend because I can't specifically speak to that person as one altar. And I lost a couple other friends too recently because of that. And also, I get really exhausted because one altar will want to do too much and I'm actually injured really badly from car accidents. I also want to say that I tried to kill myself um, 20 years ago and it left me para partially paraplegic. So never try to take your own life. Never. Not just because you could end up permanently injured like I did, but actually, yes, it's a good reason not to because 75% of suicides fail and you'll end up permanently injured. And people that try to shoot themselves in the head, watch a video of someone that shot themselves in the face and survived. It's the most tr absolutely horrific, tragic thing that you can possibly see. And there's videos about people that have done that. So I'm here to say that I try with just pills and I still lost the use of both of my legs. I regained, after five years of physical therapy, I regained most of the use of one of my legs. And that was just with pills. Can you imagine what would happen if I had jumped off something or um, tried to shoot myself? If it's not your time to go and God doesn't want you to go, you're not going to go and you're going to be severely damaged. So this is basically an anti-suicide message. I'm here to say that I'm permanently crippled from DID and one of my alters trying to kill me or us or what have you, however you want to put it. Um, I'm in control of that now. For the most part, I still battle suicidal thoughts. But I take a lot of medication to control that. So medication does help. It's not the typical antidepressants because they for some reason cause me to feel more suicidal. So I'm on an atypical antidepressant. Um, so with DID, you a lot of times might have alters that want to harm the others or harm themselves. And I just am constantly reading prayer books. I'm Christian, or I read Bible study type books. And even then, I still battle thoughts. And it's not all the time, like, I haven't had a single thought today. Thank God. Praise the Lord. I have not had a single thought of hurting myself today. But I remember just a few days ago, another altar, when I was in another state, thought about it. Now, I wouldn't do it, I don't think, but um, I decided that if I ever tried the altars that are suicidal, I would make sure I didn't try to walk in front of a bus or shoot myself in the head or something stupid like that because I had a spiritual experience where a, like about three year, three to four years after I tried to kill myself, I saw Jesus Christ and I saw God and God said that he decides when I go, not me. And I try to keep that memory alive in my head. But unfortunately with DID, even speaking and seeing Jesus Christ himself and God and angels and so forth, it's still hard to battle it. Um, I'm in no threat to my, in danger of hurting myself. But to have these intrusive thoughts are really upsetting. So this is just a message about anti-suicide. And um, if you ever have suicidal thoughts, please talk to your psychiatrist and be open about it. You don't want to make the mistake of trying to harm yourself. This is all the message really is about. Okay.
have a good one. Be safe and God loves you.